Right, I'm delighted to say Mark McAdam is with us tonight. Good evening. Um, look, we heard from the guys there that Bournemouth have had this offer of £20 million accepted for Dango Uatara. Uh, this is good news for Bournemouth right now because they're really struggling six defeats on the bounce. Yeah, recent form hasn't been good for Gary O'Neill and AFC Bournemouth, but this will be uh, a perfect way to start the week for AFC Bournemouth fans. The fact that they've had this offer accepted from Lorien for Dango Uatara it is massively positive. Um, he's a player that they've been interested in for some time and brings a very different type of profile to the other wingers they currently have at the football club. He's a raw talent with huge potential and significantly has scored six goals in 18 league and appearances this season. I know what you want to know is what type of a player is he and what mm. will he bring to Bournemouth at the moment? Um, well, one thing I'll tell you, Vicky, pace, 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 okay. uh, which is going to be hugely exciting for AFC Bournemouth fans. Um, he has a good energy, a good work rate. He's a player that can do things a little bit different. He'll come off the line. He'll want to come in field. He picks up some really intelligent positions as well. So when the ball's going down the left-hand side, predominantly he'll play on the right-hand side um, okay. as, a, as a sort of player that will come in field. But when that ball's down the left, he's a, a player that will pick up those positions in and around the box. He wants to be direct. He wants to score goals. He wants to make things happen. Um, in terms of the physicality of him as a player. He's brave, he's strong, he's very big as well in stature, which will be something very different to what Bournemouth's wingers have got at the moment. So he comes with a very different pedigree to, to other players. And most significantly, Bournemouth play 4-2-3-1, which is exactly what Lorient play. Okay. Uh, so he will play on the right side of a front three. Um, this is, I can only say, an, an exciting signing. A lot of talent there. It's a big ask for a young 20-year-old to come into the Premier League and hit the ground running because that's exactly what he's going to have yeah. to do. They're in a relegation battle at the moment. Uh, but he certainly has all the assets to be an exciting player for Bournemouth. And this is great news for the new owners, of course, to get a deal so far down the line, yeah? Yeah, of course. This is you know, something the fans have been desperate for since the January transfer window opened on the 1st of January. We sp spoke to the new owner, Bill Foley, in December. He said to us he'd like to bring in four or five new players, yeah. that money would be available. He'd back the manager. He'd do whatever he possibly could to try and strengthen the squad and make them more competitive in the Premier League. But what Bournemouth have found, like a lot of clubs in the top flight in this country, is that it's not easy to sign players. You see the first two or three, four days where players come into new clubs, the deals that have been worked on over December, they action them very quickly, and then you have this malaise, and it lulls, and it goes a bit quiet for a few weeks, which is what we're seeing at the moment. Uh, and agents and players don't need to make decisions because they're not up against the clock. Mm. But this time next week, when the clock starts ticking, things will change. Um, but significantly for Bournemouth, they've got this deal done. They're hoping it's the first of many. Bill Foley wants to bring in new players to the football club, uh, and Dango Otara could be someone that could be a big part of what they do in this January transfer window. So, you say more to club, but there could be a former player coming. Yeah, this is another one that Bournemouth fans are, are desperate for at the moment. They want to see new faces, but they also want to see the return of a familiar face as well, uh, and that's Arnout Dan Juma. We know that there are a number of clubs that are interested in him. Villarreal have made it quite clear that he's available in this window, potentially uh, to go on loan. Uh, we mm. know that Bournemouth, Everton, Nottingham Forest... Leicester and potentially Lille as well are interested in signing him in this window. Now, of course, Arnold Danjuma came to Bournemouth back in August 2019. It was Eddie Howe that signed him for around £13 million. He didn't play a great deal in that first season in the Premier League because of his injury record. Uh, I think it was 14 appearances, no goals. But significantly, he came to life in that season in the Championship where he got 17 in 37 games. He was a huge part of that team that got to the playoffs. They were beaten by Brentford. Uh, and it was those performances that earns him the move to Villarreal. Um, so he's a player the club know well. They are at the table. They would love to sign him, but it's his decision. Uh, and he's got a big decision to make because there are a number of clubs that are interested in him, not just in the Premier League, but in Europe as well. So a big 24 to 48 hours with regards to Arnout Danjuma and the decision he makes. But if uh, Bill Foley and Gary O'Neill could make him potentially the second signing, it could be massively significant. Uh, and just a quick word on Dango Atara as well. There is some paperwork, things to be sorted out. He's got to get his, his work permit, his visa. Um, so we're not expecting this signing to be announced any time in the next 24 hours. Okay. But the club will be doing everything they can to hope, hopefully get him signed up and sorted for the weekend's match.